Greeting and salutations, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to our next video on our membership recruitment webinar series. As a reminder, we're uploading a new video every Tuesday to our Old Hickory Council YouTube page to help you prepare for year-round and especially fall membership recruitment. Today, we're going to be talking about the BSA Brand Guide, Marketing and Membership Hub, and the BSA Brand Center in this lovely webinar titled BSA Brand Guide and Marketing Resources. So my name is David Gilbert. I'm the Director of Field Services for the Old Hickory Council, and my job is to support all of you, all of our district executives and district directors, making sure you have the resources, education, training, um, and support as you go to recruit the thousand plus kids that we will hopefully recruit this upcoming fall. So today we're going to talk about those three things, the brand guide, the marketing membership hub, and the brand center. Um, and ultimately, we're trying to utilize these tools to create consistency in our communication. If we have 10 Cub Scout packs in one city like Winston-Salem or four in Mount Airy, whatever it happens to be, and all four, 10, or 20, or 50 are using very different communication tactics, different logos, different pictures, different flyer designs, um, things might get a little complicated as to what we're actually trying to sell as a program, which of course is values, outdoor adventure, family time. So these three resources that we're gonna talk about will help us develop communication consistency, give you a repository of resources to help you grow, and also give you high quality logos, images, and pictures uh, for your recruitment. And then once we talk about that, we'll talk a little bit about what the council does to help support you um, and your district and your unit in recruiting, utilizing these resources. So first I wanna talk about how we get to the BSA Brand Center. And there is a URL that you can go to, but quite honestly, the best thing to do is to simply go to Google and type in BSA Brand Center. Because while BSA has a lot of great resources, they are frequently difficult to navigate, which of course leads to this training. When you search for BSA Brand Center, it's gonna be this very first link, which is the scouting.webdambb.com. No idea what that acronym could even stand for, but the resources there are delightful nonetheless. You'll see here that there may be some things that you need to log into. Uh, volunteers can log in using your my.scouting uh, account at this little button up here, and professionals can use their credentials to get even more stuff. But ultimately, we're going to look at the marketing library, the brand guide, the membership and marketing hub right here. And we're going to scroll down first and look at what we have here in this um, brand center. So they've got the little scrolly bar here. They've got some great things for Pinewood Derbies, for the Cub Scout Adventure On, for the National Jamboree. Whatever it happens to be highlighted uh, will be in this scroll bar. Scrolling down, you can see that they've got the Cub Scout and the Scouts BSA Adventure On. Um, they've got Scout Life Magazine promo, summer camp stuff. Uh, an old theme of Ready, Set, Race, but they still have some new promo materials because people find that one very popular. Exploring, venturing, sea scouting for our ship right down here, and Scouts BSA. When you click on any one of these icons, logos, uh, whatever you want to call it, it's going to take you to those resources. I'll click on Scouts BSA right off the bat, and it'll show you everything that they have from last year's adventure on to this year's adventure on, council resources, stock photos, previous assets, and videos that you can steal. So let's say we're looking for recruitment resources for Scouts BSA, and we wanna look at billboards, email images, flyers, logos, and do-it-yourself elements, which are great if you're gonna put these in Canva, Publisher, Microsoft Word, peer-to-peer -peer recruitment cards, postcards, posters, print, ad, uh, print ads and banners. Um, social media images, web banners. So you're looking for something to put on your Packer Troop website. You're looking for something to put as that cover image on Facebook. Right here, we have things that you can take, a couple different designs, a couple of photos, a couple without, a couple big, a couple small, all right here ready to go for you. Flyers, 
lots of different flyers. This one's got four different options for us. Um, these are not overly customizable, but you'll notice that there is about an inch and a half to two inches at the bottom of this flyer where they've got the Scout logo on the left in white space. That's so you could run it through a printer and add your own information to it. And of course, you have the information on the back. The Cub Scout stuff is going to roll the same way. Here's the 2023 assets, billboards, bookmarks. Uh, we're going to order some of these through a company because we do provide free recruitment resources to all of our packs and troops. And we're going to try to get them with our kids uh, on the picture here. And I, look, I think this is the one that we went with for des uh, the design. But I'll come back to that in just a moment. Um, as it reloads, other assets you can get from this brand center um, are onboarding resources. So you get a new scout family to come in. Here you can give them some papers that talk about um, where you meet, what you do, QR codes, uniform checklists, uh, requirements that you need to have in order to uh, rank up as a way to describe what's going on. Here's some brochures down here. Um, some Spanish assets uh, for those who need it. Um, all of these you double click on, it opens it. You can see what they look like really, really big in Zoom. You should be able to edit some of these once you download it. Uh, this one talks about parent announcements and how to join and uh, other resources. To get this asset, you simply download it by clicking this little button in the upper right. And it's kind of neat, it'll even tell you how many people have downloaded it. Um, so you can see what items are popular across the country. Oop, open back up again. If you're looking for some stock photos, um, these are not going to be local to Old Hickory Council Scouts, but these will be high quality, high resolution photos um, that scouting commissions uh, about every other year. Some of these may look familiar from things that councils used before, but we're also actively trying um, to replace what we use with photos of our scouts having adventure at Camp Raven Knob. So say you want to promote camping um, on a flyer or a Facebook poster on your website. Here's pictures of families setting up tents, cooking, eating together, hanging out, having fun. Um, we have the same for just about every demographic here. Um, we have some older kids, some younger kids. Uh, we have boys, we have girls, we have kids of different races. Um, so you can kind of pick and choose what's going to be best to grow your scouting community. I'm going to hop back to the brand center here, which I have uh, on my favorites bar, my bookmarks bar. Um, you're looking to promote summer camp with your troop or pack. You can click on this, and here's a bunch of pictures of kids doing summer camp related things that you could snag. And I'll point out to you that sometimes you'll see, well, frequently you'll see the leaders wearing the uniform, but in all the photos coming out from National, um, the kids are active, the kids are doing things. Very few of these are staged. Most of them are candid shots and almost none of them have kids wearing the uniform doing activities because we wanna show kids being active, kids having fun, not dressing in a uniform, getting awards. Um, that's not over appealing to kids according to market resources. Um, Scout Life Magazine, uh, here's some stuff from the, the corporate here um, is what they call it, which is general items. Um, COVID resources for summer camp, that doesn't really apply anymore. High adventure base, you're looking for desktop wallpapers. Here's a bunch of gorgeous, beautiful shots that BSA has put together right here for you to use on your computers. Uh, looking for something related to marketing awards. Um, maybe you wanna steal some ideas that uh, from units, councils, and districts that have won awards from the National Marketing Award Program. Say you're looking to start a new unit. Say you've got a Cub Scout pack, but you don't have an associated troop, or you've got a troop and you're looking to do something with a girl troop. Um, you can click on these and you can see different marketing resources for new unit development. So a lot of things on here, there's no way that we can possibly cover everything, uh, but PowerPoint templates, scout book marketing, scouting for food stuff, social media general, youth protection related items. So you're looking for that high image, uh, high resolution graphic of the safe checklist. We've got it right here for you. 
looking for the uh, barriers to abuse infograph that shows all the things we do upon joining and then throughout scouting to keep kids safe right there. Um, and as you scroll through this, there's a lot of really awesome things that you can take and they are for your use. Uh, I don't, we just went into that one. Let me open up the Sea uh, Scouts one here so I can give them a little loving. Um, but once again, web banners, photos, flyers. We have one Sea Scout ship in the council and there's uh, you know, a handful of good pictures out there. But if you're looking for additional things or you're just really passionate about Sea Scouting and you want to start a second um, uh, Winston-Salem ship or start one out in our outlying counties, all the resources are right here, including recruitment flyers, etc. Now, we do get a whole lot of recruitment resources for you to utilize. Some of the things like the Sea Scout stuff, we don't keep in stock because we're not going to go through 40,000 of them like we do Cub Scout flyers, which, yes, we will go through about 40,000 Cub Scout flyers this year, um, 44,000 if every kid gets one. Um, so we buy those in bulk, and we are capable of customizing. Work with your district executive on what you want that little segment at the bottom or the back to say. We're ordering bookmarks. We're ordering um, peer-to-peer recruitment cards. We have plenty of flyers and plenty of uh, posters in stock. If you can think about it, we will print it for you. Say you want to have some um, note cards made. Um, we'll be happy to print those for you. We'll be happy to take care of that in-house. Only thing that we won't cover is the postage to send out those invitations. So that one would be on you. So here's the brand center and a lot of the cool things here. I'm going to click on the brand guidelines next, which was this little blue button up at the top. And this is going to talk a little bit about do's and don'ts, best business practices. And you will have to download this one as a PDF as it pops up through Adobe Acrobat here. And this was last revised about three years ago, um, but it's going to go through and it'll kind of give you some tips and tricks excuse me, on everything that you can do uh, for best business practices. And the council does promote these. We do try to follow these as best as we can. Um, but it'll go through and just to kind of give you a highlight because I want you to take some time cruising this on your own. Um, but here's our, our corporate trademark, right? You probably recognize this. This is our brand. This is our, our version of those golden arches that McDonald's has or the Amazon little smile from the A to Z. Um, the red, white, and blue logo. And they give you options. One color, two color, four color for screen usage. If you're going to reverse the color, what it should look like. It even tells you the hexadecimal code so you use the exact colors on it. Then it tells you what's unacceptable. Fading it. Changing the colors. Um, putting um, the full color on a different color. So when he had it on the reversed here, it's white. Here they have the full color reversed. Um, do not truncate, so don't use part of the logo, use the whole thing. Um, the gold fleur-de-lis has been retired, so it's got that one down here, and we shouldn't be using that one either. It does the same thing for some of the different signatures that we have in pictures. Um, under that brand center that we looked at with all those marketing assets, you are able to download a lot of these things, uh, including um, these little activity graphics, and then it shows you what you're not supposed to do with them um, and what you are encouraged to do with them. We can keep scrolling down. You can look and see that uh, photography. They give you recommendations, uh, living imagery, kids doing active things. Um, you know, these aren't staged. These are, I mean, they're probably got a bunch of kids together and said, go do this, but it's not kids standing in front of a climbing tower smiling. Um, so do use candid, authentic imagery, showcase scouting's diversity, use imagery that makes scouts look fun and exciting. Then it's going to give you some image pitfalls, stage photos, forced smiles, dated or historical scouting imagery. If it's got red shoulder loops on it for Scouts BSA, don't do that. Photos without a clear focal point, um, cliched stock photography, probably not a good thing. And then I'll go through and I'll give you some real world examples, um, patches, uniforms, presentations. Um, following that, it's going to go into each of the sub brands and it's going to walk you through the Scouts BSA, uh, Cub Scouts, Venturing, the colors that they use, the typography that they use. 
even Order of the Arrow is going to be listed in here as well as I scroll through. Um, guiding principles, website poli uh, policies. Um, if you're looking to figure out what we use as our type font, well, we use Trebuchet. We use Arial. We use uh, a black and Arial regular. Um, so we've got acceptable, we've got better, and we've got preferred. So our preferred typeface is going to be in the Adele family, the alternate Gothic, Helvetica. Um, it'll walk you through typography pitfalls and help you come up with good ways to promote scouting. You're looking for that color red that Scouts uses or that color tan or warm gray. Here we go. It's got the red, green, blue, and it's got the hex numbers. So you can put them into Microsoft Word or Canva and use them. We've got our uh, secondary colors here as well. Scouting pale blue and dark blue. Same with Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, Venturing, different shade of green than Scouts BSA uses. Sea Scouting, bunch of different colors there. Um, and then it kind of helps you go through and choose what correct color palette you're looking for. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down through the rest of this real quick, and you can kind of see what we do for overlay effects and diagonals. And um, once again, if you don't do this perfectly, that is okay. This is just a resource and guide for how to do it a little bit better. Even email, it gives you suggestions and signatures and tips and tricks and uh, whatever it happens to be. So back at that brand center, we've walked you through the brand center, which includes the marketing library. We've walked you through the brand guidelines. The third section I wanna look at is the marketing and membership hub, which is just gonna be a resource repository. It'll walk you through Cub Scout recruiting uh, with an overview for councils and districts, for packs and dens, and it'll walk you through what you need. Here's a sign up night playbook, and here's a case study for recruiting social media images, anything that you could possibly want um, listed here. Dynamic recruiting webinars um, that you can utilize if you're going to do more than just uh, in-face and you're going to have multiple ways for people to learn about your pack, your troop, um, they've got resources there. Looking to do the Adopt-A-School program, look no further than here. You can figure out a great way to figure out how to support your local school, build a relationship, bunch of volunteer ideas, how to register through that, and how to support your school so you can help develop a relationship and get better access. Marketing support, once again, it's going to take you back to the brand center, best videos, search engine optimization guide, um, recruiting resources, new unit sales kits, unit performance. So you're looking for um, unit roadmap to success right here. Uh, the together plan and all sorts of uh, resources that you can have to grow, start, or retain your kids in scouting. So take some time, look over these. This webinar is meant to just touch the base uh, basics of what we're looking for here. Um, but don't forget anything that you find on the brand center, the council is able uh, to get for free. Um, we will print things for you, but we do ask the Cub Scouts. We utilize the ones that we've purchased en masse um, for price breaks. We have lots of this stuff already printed in-house. We will be putting together a recruitment kit to give to each pack. Um, if there's a particular design that you're looking for, we can print those out in local quantities on our color copier with the information that you want. In-house, we do have flyers for all boy troops, all girl troops. We do have flyers in Spanish, um, a couple, not a whole lot. So if you're looking for something in Spanish uh, and you find one on here that you like, we can print those locally because we're probably going to need two or 300, not 44,000 of them. Work with your district executive to customize all of these things. They'll be happy to help you. Or you can give us a call here at the Old Hickory Council Service Center, 336-760-2900. Um, because we once again support the district executives and what they do because they are also council. Um, and one more thing that I've been asked to remind everybody, when you're promoting scouting to girls, do not use any of the Girl Scouts USA logos, imagery, pictures, Fleur de Lis. Um, do not put the word girl before scouts. Um, we just simply call them scouts 
for Scouts BSA or Cub or Cub Scouts for that program. Um, but let's make sure we're not muddling our brand with their brand. Let's give the Girl Scouts USA the respect they deserve um, because they're also a good program, just different from us. Once again, if you need help, you're more than welcome to reach out. We'll be posting this on YouTube. So whether you're watching this in the live broadcast uh, premiere this evening or on the replay, we hope this comes in handy as you prepare your recruitment for the upcoming year. Thanks, and we'll see you along the scouting trail.